posted on Facebook and it was interesting to see uh, people's comments and they're like, well, where's this church? And wow, that looks pretty awesome. And wow, I mean, because to see the men on their face and on their knees, um, it, it's a powerful visual, but it's just, that's just the surface of what really is transpiring in the spiritual, in the spirit realm. So that's like the tip of the iceberg. Amen. And so today we're going to dig deep into below that surface. Amen. Hallelujah. And we're going to see what the Spirit of the Lord has for us. And if I can get the, uh, the no, no, no recording. Okay. We're having all kinds of trouble with uh, the sound. That's what, uh, uh, but uh, I want to bring this word up. Uh, open your Bibles with me to the book of Isaiah chapter 59. This week, and we'll go there in just a moment, but uh, this week was the traditional date of the birth and the death of Judah, the fourth son of Jacob and Leah in the scriptures. Anybody remember the name Judah in the tribes of Israel? Judah means, listen, listen. Judah means to admit. Everybody say to admit. Amen. And I don't mean admittance as in allowed to come in. I'm talking about confess. Amen. To admit. Listen, the first, the first step to healing in a psychological uh, or emotional healing is to first own the mess. Own, admit. This is where I am. This is what I was going on. These are my feelings. These are the emotions that I have. That's the first. You're already on the journey for the healing. Amen. Come on, somebody. That's a good word for those of you who are frustrated. Those of you who are disillusioned. Those of you who are angry. Those of you who are plum pissed off. Come on, man. All right. It means to admit. Listen. As to admit a mistake. Say that part with me. We said to admit. To admit. As to admit to a mistake. As to admit a mistake. Watch this. Goes on to say, or to acknowledge ingratitude. Wow, what a shift. That it would go from admitting something, admitting a mistake, and to acknowledge ingratitude. And this also is the source of the English word Jew. Jude is the root for the Jew. When Joseph was thrown into the pit, and I know we can get real poetic and talk about from going from the pit to the palace, and, and if you get thrown in the pit, you should still rejoice and be thankful because you're not going to stay in the pit for very long and end up in the palace and blah, 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 blah. But let's just, let's just be real about the pit. The pit is the pits. <laughs> when you find yourself in the pit, it sucks. Amen. It's no fun. It's lonely. It's dark. It's scary. Yes. Okay. To, everybody say to admit. To admit. We're going to own this church. We're going to own our mess. Don't blame. Excuse me. Don't blame it on Jeanette. Yeah, yeah. Everybody gonna prophesy. Okay, I don't think you understand. 
Amen. It's not until there are no effects from those memories that you can speak and say, yes, my father physically and emotionally abused me, but I am whole. I am Hallelujah. the most high God. Amen. Yes. See, I, I want you to know that I had, I had my impact with the Holy Ghost years ago, just right, right after. Because 
I need. I want, I need God Amen. to cease and desist Hallelujah. with the foreclosures, cease and desist with the financial struggles, cease and desist Amen. with all of this crazy stuff. Amen. Enough yes. is enough. Amen. Why are you going to perpetuate the same stuff? That your fathers and your uncles and your aunts and your family members, they did drugs, they ended up in prison, they got charged with this, they got charged. Why don't you decide today? I'm stopping Cease and desist. It stops with me. I'm not going to, it's not going to go forward anymore. This, pardon me, but this crap dies here. Is happening. Thank you, Father. That's why I said I mean, it's not it's not about getting all super emotional and and, 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 and having a little cry, uh, cry, cry time and okay now think about it, your dad again and now he slapped you and he cheated and he left and he quit and he divorced your mom and he did this and he did that and now think about it and now walk in the with forgiveness and let it go. I'm talking about you don't need to walk through it. Right. You just need to set it. Come on, somebody. Cease and desist. Come on. Yes. Why are you going to walk away? Let, let me just counsel through it. Why don't you just let it go? Why don't you break that cycle today and say, I'm not going to follow in the footsteps of my dad. I'm not going to follow in the footsteps of my grandfather and my great-grandfather or my ancestors. I'm going to chart a new course for my life beginning today. Me and my family will serve the Lord, Yahweh. Amen. And we will be blessed coming in and blessed going out. Yeah. And God will put none of these diseases upon me or my family or my children. Amen. Can I hear the men this morning admit, say, I was wrong. That is, that is robbing us from so much of the move of the Spirit. If more men could just stand before their children and their wives and their family and say, I was wrong. Come on. Well, it's her fault because she did this and she did that. And she went here and she went there. She ate the apple. <laughs> yeah, but where were you? Why weren't you there to protect her from the beguilement? God will hear me. Uh, happy Father's Day, but I just need you to know this is Abba Father's Day. Please listen. The word Abba literally means daddy. It means and, and the reason that the Bible uses the word Abba, because in that word is a spirit of adoption. That is really when we say, when you say Abba, Father, as a Gentile, as, a, as, a, as not being a chosen, part of the chosen, you are connected, engrafted, made a part of a joint. I've been teaching on the importance of understanding the role of the Jewish people in the Western Church. And one of the main reasons has been because of the principle of the root, which affects the branches. As the Bible says, if the root is holy, then so will the branches be holy. If the root is holy, guess where this religion or this whatever you want to call it, Christianity comes from. It comes from these Jewish roots. From here, O Israel, the Lord Yahweh is one God. He is our God. Hashem Yahshua. He is blessed be His holy, ineffable, unspoken, unspeakable name. And now we be given the privilege to speak. 
be. If the root is holy, then so are the branches. There is a stirring that's taking place by the Spirit of God that is going to cause you to rise up and begin to prophesy to your situation and to those around you. Yeah. Come on, somebody, please stir somebody up next to you and just say, uh, wake up, do something, speak life, speak, speak something. I speak wholeness. Come on. Okay, get ready, get ready. I heard, listen, listen, I heard the whole, this is, this is so important. This is vitally important. Please listen to what I'm about to say. Listen to this, uh, what I heard by the Spirit. I heard the Holy Spirit say that in 52 days there will be, be such breakthroughs and miracles that it's going to blow you away. Amen. I don't know if you recognize the timing that we're in. We've talked about the four blood moons. Right. We just experienced on Friday the 13th, which is...